I'm going to begin uh, this question for you first, Annie, because I loved your scene because I like your dog reminded me a bit of my dog in the film. And I was just wondering, I always wonder when people work with animals, even briefly, is it really sad when you have to say goodbye? Like you can't text afterwards and catch oh, up. Very it's, sad. A fleeting, it's a fleeting moment, this quick bond of an animal. Then it's like, see you later. Yes, it's very sad. You bond, you do bond with, um, I'm a love dogs. Mm. I love animals. And um, when I was there, I missed my, you know, my pets. Anyhow, mm. Mignon, the dog who played Mignon, she, oh God. Uh, yeah, uh, what a s sweet animal. <laughs> and I was, yeah, very hard to say goodbye. And then you think like, I know it's weird, but yeah, you think like, I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you see, I just come in with hearted yeah. and hearted yeah. questions. That's what I'm here for. Because um, but, um, yeah. Lorenzo, I mean, of course, you know, you're of Italian uh, descent, but when it came to kind of doing the accent, did you have to run it past members of the family just to make sure it was kind of spot on? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I were, I, I knew a few Italians, so I just wanted to run it by them. And I had worked on it previously and, and, kind of had a little bit of a base to go through and I, and I wanted it to be as real as possible because I was I'm so scared always when I when I do accents that they're actually believable and they're not half asked you know <laughs> there's something I I'm quite a perfectionist so I just I also really wanted to add to the big energy that Angela had as a, as a person so I think the accent was definitely an extension of that so yeah I did run it by a few Italians and, and, it, and it was approved thankfully or at least that's what they told me so I'm happy for that. <laughs> How's your accent? Yes. Time? Like, if you were asked to be in Downton Abbey, do you reckon you could do it? <laughs> oh my god, I love that show. <sighs> my British accent sucks. I, it always comes out like half Irish, half Latin. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> my family is Italian. My and uh, I felt like she when I heard Lorenza, I it was it was actually it's like the best one I've ever heard. <laughs> it was oh so god. real. It was so good. <laughs> that's good to know that the hours paid off <laughs> oh yeah no uh it's just i it's kind of stunning how well she did that it's pretty pretty awesome thank just, you not everybody can do that that's a very difficult accent i was going to ask i mean Lorenzo, you said before about the kind of characters were quite kind of larger than life is it quite when you're in a sort of a, a, a film like this even though the kind of stakes are high and the the, the narrative is you know it's quite it's a detective story with murder and stuff like that yeah 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 <laughs> quite fun having that kind of license to be quite heightened with the character and to be yes. yeah, quite creative with it I suppose I yeah I love it I I'm quite big I think I mean I tend to just come on with like come on strong and <laughs> I have a lot of energy and it's you know usually the notes from the directors are like just just, just great and <laughs> just tone it down it's usually that um so it's definitely a treat when the direction is ham it up like there's there's never oh, no pun intended um, but it's it's a treat to get to do that and and still try to find the challenge there is to make it real, like as big as you can go, but have it be grounded so that it's not completely out of line with what the story that we're trying to tell. And it is a murder, but I think John plays such an energy that he's surrounded by characters like Eve and Angela and the Countess that are all larger than life yet have a step up ahead of him. Like they already know what's happening even though we're all cuckoo and he's kind of like the nonchalant, like I've got it down. But without them, he would have never solved it. Mm -hmm. And what do you guys think it is? I'll ask you first, Avani, I mean, about this character of, of Fletch that makes him so such an everlasting figure in kind of novels and on screen. I mean, he was as funny, you know, when he first hit our screens sort of a few decades ago as he is now. And I feel like you could probably do another Fletch movie in 30 years and it would still land. What, what, what do you think? Why do you think this audience keeps gravitating towards this this man? I think it's because he makes light out of dark, sort of. He's just has this sort of delightful attitude and energy um, in these sort of darker situations. And um, I think that people do like to laugh at sort of dramatic things and hard things and, and you know whatever this is a, it's a case, no it, I agree it's a release and I also think there's a genre yeah. that will never get old and that is like murder mystery or solving a mystery and whatever oh, versions sure. stem from that you know you, you we love the murder mysteries that are stuck in boats we can do a murder mystery about a restaurant we can do them it can take place anywhere so I think there's a timelessness to discovering a murder which is I mean, look at how like murder podcasts, like we're really obsessed as a culture with murder and horror and dark things. And I think the genre of 
someone solving a mystery will never go away because it's fun. Because as an audience, you get to discover that with the character if it's done well. Yeah, we yeah. Are and also yeah. he's he's so witty, mm -hmm. and he's just it's just so fun to watch him. The, his character go through these experiences. He's, he's just so witty and fun to watch. Yeah. No, we are obsessed with murder. I don't know what it says about all of us, but we <laughs> we just are. It just makes good telly and good films. Uh, and this yeah. is one of them. Thank you so much for your time today, guys, and best of luck with the release of the movie. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.